Hello friends, now today we are going to start with uh, our lecture number 2. Last time we have seen what is the importance of naked and non fabric technology in the DFCT program. This course is having a abbreviation of 22357 and uh, this uh, code is having 22357 and abbreviation is KNF and the program code and semester code is that is the DCPI. Now in the uh, lecture number 2, what we are going to learn for the today's lecture. Now today we are going to discuss about the various ways to produce a fabric, principle of intermeshing of the loops, then after the third number basics of the loops, then after the define the netting process, then after the concept of warp and web netting. So these things today we are going to cover. Now what are the outcome of our lectures? Now after learning this particular lecture, Students are able to differentiate the different methods to produce a fabric. After learning this particular lecture, they will able to distinguish this is a own fabric, this is a netted fabric and this is a non-own fabric like this. Second one, after learning this particular lecture, students will able to explain the principle of knitting. So after learning this one, they are in a position to explain what is mean of a knitting or the basic principle of the knitting. Then after they are able to explain the concept of loop, then after they are able to define the netting process and then after they are able to define the warp as well as the web netting. So this is what outcome of the today's lecture. We will start with the very first number that is the various ways of fabric manufacture. ते आपण प्रामुख्याने या लेक्चर मध्ये डिस्कस हे करणार आहोत नो व्हाट आर द वेरियस मेथड्स वेरी फर्स्ट मेथड दैट इज अ विविंग मेथड सेकंड नंबर इज नेटिंग मेथड थर्ड नंबर इज अ ब्रेडिंग मेथड देन आफ्टर द नेटेड फैब्रिक टेक्निक इज देयर देन आफ्टर द फोर्स नॉन ओन फैब्रिक इज देयर नो अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस ऑल द टेक्निक्स देयर आर न्यूमरस वेज आर देयर टू प्रोड्यूस द फैब्रिक बट दीस आर लिस्टेड एज पर देयर पॉपुलैरिटी इन द कमर्शियल मार्केट now here if you are going to see this is a weaving method the basic principle of the weaving method that is an interlacement method now second one that is a knitting method in the knitting method the basic principle is what a intermeshing method then after the braiding where the fiber itself plays a very vital role so that is what a interlocking method then after the cross end method where two ends are going to cross to each other then after conversion of the fiber to the fabric, there is no any formation of the yarn. This is a very popularly known as a non-own fabric because of that the name itself it is saying that it is a non-own fabric which is not uh, own in a nature. So here we will see the interlacement method. Now in the interlacement method, if you are going to see this very first one diagram in the interlacement method. This is a structural diagram of the own fabrics. Now in this structural diagram, you will see the one arrow is here. This is the arrow indicate this is a vertical thread and this vertical thread is nothing but a your warp. And there is one more arrow uh, with the yellow color. It is highlighted with the yellow color. This is known as a web. And as you know very well, there are two yarns are required to produce the own fabric. And by using the disc to warp and webbed, we can able to produce the own fabric. So interlacement is a key thing in the own fabric. Now two yarns, we are going to interlace with each other to get a own fabric. So this is what your own fabric and how we are going to produce the own fabric. This is possible by using the looms. So loom is a machine which is going to do the interlacement work. So loom is a mediator from which we are going to produce the fabric. So basically the loom, what it is going to perform the activity, the basic activity the loom is going to perform that is the interlacement. Now you take any technology, the technology may be the various difference from the power loom, from the hand looms, then after the from the shuttle looms and you can say the repair looms, air jet looms and projector looms. The technology may be the different. But the main uh, common thing apart from this all the technology that is what all are going to perform the interlacement work. So this is what the interlacement method. Now second method that is 
your knitting method which we are going to learn here but the basic principle of the knitting that is a intermeshing work is there now what is mean by intermeshing that we are going to learn in the further lectures now there is a one more method that is a third number that is a interlocking method now in the interlocking method now here the fiber physical property plays a very important role the scales are there on the fiber surface and when both the scales are in opposite direction these are going to lock to each other and result in what we are going to get a one fabric that is known as a braided fabric so that method is interlocking method but that is not so popular in the nature another one that is a cross end method so what is the resultant fabric that is a knitted fabrics are known as sometimes this is also known as a lino weaving this is also known as a cross end weaving is there where two yarns are there one is a standard end is there and second one is a cross end now this crossing end is going to cross the its position from right side to the left side left side to the right side so likewise it is going to cross from one place to the another place and while go, while doing the crossing it is going to bind the web at all now if you are going to see the what is the beauty of this netted fabric or cross end method the binding of the binding uh, you can say the binding strength of this particular weaving method a particular method is very good compared to the your weaving and knitting and because of that preferably this technique is used to bind the selvages in the case of weaving now coming to the last one that is a fiber to fabric method now in the fiber to fabric method this is well very popular method also here we are not going to form the any yarn directly we are going to take the fiber some fibers and by means of some methods we are binding these all the fibers together to form the sheet to form the fabric and because of that the name itself it is saying this is a non own technique so it is not a own technique and here we are not going to do the any kind of the interlacement we are not going to do the any kind of the intermeshing we are not going to do the yes of course interlocking we are going to do but the interlocking fiber interlocking there may be the different methods are there to do the interlocking it may be the needle punching method it may be adhesive bonding method so so many methods are there to bond those all the fibers together to get a one bag or to get a one sheet so that is what a non own fabric now these are the some structural difference between the own fabric and the web knitted fabric and warp knitted fabric so of course these two things this is a second number diagram and third number diagram these are related to the knitting and this is what related to the own fabric so in this particular course we are going to learn web knitted fabric as well as the warp knitted fabrics now in your examination they are going to ask you the question very basic question they are going to ask you that is just list out various ways to produce the fabric this one question probably they are going to ask for your examination second probable question they are going to ask for your examination that is uh, for example they can uh, say you define the warp and define the web no doubt this is a very beginning type of the question is there but still there is a scope they are going to ask uh, such a question based on this particular uh, topic now this is what a various method to produce the fabric manufacturing now second topic today we are going to learn that is principle of intermeshing of loops now this is what the basic principle so here the entire knitting it depends on this principle once you understand this basic principle yes you easily you can able to say uh, what is the knitting and what is difference between a web knitting and warp knitting easily you can able to differentiate it so here we are going to learn the principle of intermeshing now here now if you are going to uh, see here basically two actions are involved in this entire process that is one thing that is a conversion of straight yarn into the loop shape second one that is intermeshing of formed loops with each other so these two activity it is very important this two activity is a very important now how these two activities are very important now here if you are going to see this diagrams now here 
दिस इज अ स्ट्रेट स्टैंड ऑफ यान स्ट्रेट स्टैंड ऑफ यान म्हणजे काय एक सरळ दोरा आम्ही आपण काय केलेलं एक सरळ दोरा हे घेतलेला आहे सरळ म्हणजे वेन एव्हर वी आर गोईंग टू गेट द यान फ्रॉम द मार्केट नो डेफिनेटली द यान इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ टोन ऑर चीज अँड इट इज अ स्ट्रेट इन नेचर इफ यू गोईंग टू होल्ड टू एंड्स ऑफ द यान यू विल फाइंड आउट द यार इज व्हेरी स्ट्रेट इन नेचर ओके सो यू टेक द फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेक द स्ट्रेट स्टँड ऑफ यान सो हिअर यू विल फाइंड आउट कन्वर्ट दिस स्ट्रेट स्टँड ऑफ यान इन टू द लूप शेप सो दिस पर्टिक्युलर शेप इज नोन एज अ लूप शेप सो दिस इज वॉट सम वॉट सम कर्बी लायनर शेप इज देअर सो दिस पर्टिक्युलर शेप इज नोन एज अ लूप शेप सो व्हेरी फर्स्ट ऍक्टिव्हिटी यू हॅव टू डू इन द निटिंग दॅट इज कन्वर्ट स्ट्रेट या इन टू द लूप शेप सो दिस इज वॉट व्हेरी फर्स्ट ऍक्टिव्हिटी देन आफ्टर नाव सेकंड ऍक्टिव्हिटी इफ यू गोईंग टू सी इन द सेकंड ऍक्टिव्हिटी दॅट इज वॉट अ फर्स्ट वन दॅट इज अ कन्वर्जन ऑफ स्ट्रेट यान इन टू द लूप शेप सेकंड वन दॅट इज इंटरमेशन सो दिस वॉट इज इंटरमेशन नो हिअर if you are going to see the intermission here now one is a green loop now there are two green loops are there now this is a one more purple color yarn is there which is a straight strand of yarn now this is what one needle is there of course this needle enters from this particular green loop now it is going to enter exactly in the middle of the green loop now it catches the purple color yarn it drag this particular yarn from this position at to the this position so this particular withdrawing the purple yarn from previous loop you can say this is a your previous loop this is what your previous loop to apan ela previous loop manuya ya previous loop manna ha jo navin dora ahe ha navin dora ह्या निळलच्या माध्यमातून आपण काय करतोय त्या प्रिव्हियस लूपच्या मधून घेतोय वी आर विड्रॉइंग दिस पर्टिक्युलर न्यू यार फ्रॉम द प्रिव्हियस लूप अँड बाय डुईंग दिस वन वी आर फॉर्मिंग द लूप ऍज वेल ऍज वी आर डुईंग द इंटरमेशन सो हिअर सो वॉट इज मीन बाय इंटरमेशन इंटरमेशन मीन्स वॉट द कनेक्टिंग वन प्रिव्हियस लूप विथ अ न्यू लूप दॅट इज वॉट युअर इंटरमेशन अँड बिकॉज ऑफ दॅट वी हॅव स्टेटेड हिअर uh two actions are involved one is what a conversion of straight strand of yarn into the loop shape that is what a curved shape then after the intermeshing shape very first activity mujhe pehle je action hota hai cha madhe te saral dorala loop madhe convert karne ani tyanantar intermeshing karna ani he doni one by one hot asto now this is not going to happen initially intermeshing is going to happen there after the loop is going to generate so very first action first if you are going to prioritize the very first priority that is what a forming the loop and second priority that is what a intermeshing so these two actions are involved in the principle of the intermeshing now here now this both the activity it may be the manual or it may be the mechanical now see this is also uh, forming the knitted fabric manually it is also possible and uh, mechanically it is also possible now as far as the manual method that is known as a hand knitting so this is a very traditional technique is there where we are taking the two needles and by using the two needles we are forming the loop and we are making the some sweaters like a very small garments we are going to produce from the hand knitting of course the production of this hand knitting is very low quality matters is there so this so many limitations are for the hand knitting now there is another method that is a machine method mechanical method that is known as a machine knitting the basic principle involved in the hand knitting as well as the machine knitting both are same means hand knitting asa ka khup vegla hai a machine knitting ha khup asa vegla hai asha ta prakar nahi hai the hand knitting and machine knitting the principle remains same since we are performing this knitting action by means of the hand this is known as a hand knitting and since the same principles we are performing through the machine and because of that this is known as a machine knitting so here one more point regarding the principle of the knitting machine both actions are dependent to each other so these both are related to each other 
इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट बोथ आर इंडिपेन्डंट टू इच अदर अस हो मुमेंट वेगड़ा है हा मुमेंट वेगड़ा है दिस इज नॉट लाइक दैट सो बोथ एक्शन आर डिपेन्डंट टू इच अदर सो फर्स्ट फर्स्ट वन इज वॉट यू हैव टू फॉर्म द लूप एंड आफ्टर फॉर्मिंग द लूप टेक दिस न्यूली फॉर्म लूप फ्रॉम द युअर प्रीवियस लूप सो दैट इज वॉट बोथ आर डिपेन्डंट टू ईच अदर एक मेकान वे निर्भर है then here one more point regarding this one that is a choice of raw material for wow. now the choice of raw material form is what uh, if you are going to uh, see the in the case of uh, weaving we need a raw material in the form of a uh, weaver's beam in some cases we are using the warp or beams also but probably in a majority cases we are going to say those are the weaver's beam now weaver's beam the weaver's beam is what which is having a n number of multiple ends that is a multiple end package now in knitting depend on the what kind of technology you are going to select now suppose if you are going to select a web knitting now in the web knitting so the form of package that is a single end package single end package is for the very best example i can give you here cone and cizes these are the typical examples of a single end packages manje cone and cizes asta je apan market mhe bagto किंवा आपल्या आजूबाजू बघतो इचलगंज एरियामध्ये बघतो सो दोज आर द सिंगल एन पॅकेज याच्यावरनं एक एन फक्त एकच द्वारा बाहेर निघतो त्याला सिंगल एन पॅकेज म्हणतात आणि व्हॉट इज मीन बाय मल्टी एन पॅकेज इन द मल्टी एन पॅकेज एन नंबर ऑफ एन्स आर कमिंग ऑल टुगेदर ऍट द सेम टाइम सो दॅट इज वॉट अ मल्टिपल एन पॅकेज सो दॅट इज वॉट अ मल्टिपल एन पॅकेज नॉट अफकोर्स वॉट काइंड ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल यू हॅव टू यूज फॉर द नेटिंग मशीन इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द वॉट काइंड ऑफ नेटिंग मशीन यू आर टू यूज वॉट kind of knitting technique you are going to use for warp knitting the package requirement is what a multiple end package and for the web knitting the package required is what a single end package so if you are going to summarize the particular slide so major uh, summarize point that is what what various things are involved in the principle of the intermeshing the first one that is convert the straight strand of yarn into the loop shape that is a curvy liner shape secondly this converted loop withdraw from the previous loop this term withdrawing term is known as intermeshing this withdrawing term is known as intermeshing mje je pehle je ahe pehle aplyala kay karaycha loop banvaycha ahe loop banavlya nantar to navin loop i am saying new loop ha प्रीवियस लूप प्रीवियस लूप मधन का अपने विड्रॉ कराएं हा विड्रॉ कराया प्रोसेसला इंटरमेशिंग संबोधल जता दैट प्रोसेस इज नोन इज अ इंटरमेशिंग इफ यू गोइंग टू सी द डायग्राम्स असोसिएटेड विथ दिस डिस्कशन दिस इज वॉट अ डायग्राम दैट इज अ स्ट्रेट फ्रैंड देन आफ्टर कन्वर्ट इन टू द लूप शेप देन आफ्टर द इंटरमेशिंग ऑफ अ टू लूप्स ऑफकोर्स फैब्रिक वी कैन नॉट एबल टू फॉर्म द फॉर्म द ओनली टू लूप्स we required a series of loops such a mhanje ek loop ani don loop mana apan fabric banu shakat nahi mhanje bharpur pramanat aplyala loop chi sankhya hi lagti hai knitted fabric banavnya sathi now we are going to see now up till now we have seen uh, what is mean by loop and uh, loop is nothing but uh, this curvy liner shape of uh, that particular yarn straight strand is known as a loop now loop is also having the so many different elements are there or different nomenclatures are there different names are there for the loops now if you are going to see this diagram particular diagram in this diagram you will find out here one complete loop this is what a one complete loop this is a half loop upper part of the our loop and here this is a bottom part of the another loop now here if you are going to see how this one loop is going to connect with a uh, another loop now let us consider this is a you are this whatever entirely one complete loop this is a new loop and this is a old loop and this particular portion of this loop is known as head of that particular loop this is known as the head of that particular loop and you can see similar for this entire loop this is a head and this is a head for the previous loop and these two this is a one leg and this is a another leg so entirely one complete loop is having a two legs these are the two legs 
and these bottom part of that particular loops these are known as a foots so two foots are there two legs are there and one head is there so this if you are going to see in this diagram for one complete loop two foots are there two legs are there and one head is there now this head is intermeshing to this previous loop now the method of intermeshing may be the different the method of intermeshing from front to back or back to front okay so front to back is known as a our back loop and back to front is known as a face loop so later on we are going to discuss what is mean by back loop and what is mean by face loop now here you can see some points regarding the loops stitch that is sometimes loops are also known as a stitches okay stitch loop shape of yarn so this is known as a loop and this is also known as a stitch this is also known as a curvy liner shape of that particular yarn now every loop is having a one head two legs and two foots so it is having a one head here two legs are there and two foots are there one new head intermeshed with the two foot of a previous formed loop so here one so this head is going to intermeshed with the previous formed your loop intermeshing the process of inserting or withdrawing the new loop from the old loop so we have seen now how now here if i am going to draw the one diagram here so i am going to draw the one diagram here try to see here try to understand that diagram now here if you are going to see this is what your this is what your you can say this is a loop okay now here the process the process means what now here you are going to take the yarn here you are going to take the yarn okay then after here it is going to intermesh like this okay now this process that is withdrawing the new loop withdrawing the new loop from the previous loop that is what a intermeshing process is there now this intermeshing may be with a front to back or back to front or for example now this is a previous loop uh, when this new loop is withdrawing from front this is a front side and this is a back side of previous loop from front to back that is known as the back loop and if it is going to exactly opposite that is known as the back loop now here you can say forward intermeshing and backward intermeshing so details about the forward intermeshing and backward intermeshing we are going to discuss in the latter part now other than the point regarding the your loops that is form the single loop uh, we cannot form the fabric now this is what we have seen earlier also merely by using the one loop we cannot be able to form the fabric so it required a series of loops it required series is what it may be 10 loops 10 loops we cannot be able to say these are the 10000 loops 1 lakh loops like that counting is there such a n number of loops are required to form the complete uh, fabric knitted fabric so this is what regarding the intermeshing process and what is the basic principle of the knitting now let us uh, discuss about the process of knitting now press whatever we have seen the that is the principle of knitting now process of knitting it is also the more or less same like the principle of knitting only we have elaborated somewhat in a different manner uh, with respect to the machine here now here if you are going to see in, in this particular slide some gears are there now see what these gears are going to tell you now initially we have to form the stitch kind of yarn now you cannot exactly jump into the convert into the loop shape and intermeshing so you have to go step by step that is what initial step is what stitch kind of yarn conversion step then after you take the stitch kind of yarn then after convert into the loop shape you convert it into the loop shape then after do the intermeshing work then after this then after the your entire process of knitting is going to complete so knitting if you are going to summarize the entire knitting process is a formation of loop and doing the intermeshing work so this is entirely the process of knitting now this work the formation of loop work and intermission work we can do in a two way one is a hand knitting way second one is a machine knitting okay. so this is what uh, if you are going to summarize once again all the points regarding the principle of the intermeshing 
the very first point we are going to summarize that is a principle of intermeshing there are two actions are required one is a conversion of stretch strand of yarn into the loop shape then after convert these converted loop shape do the intermeshing with the uh, each other it may be intermeshing with maybe the hand knitting or maybe the machine knitting the action whatever if you are going to produce the fabric by using the hand those are known as the hand knitting if you are going to produce the knitted fabric by using the machine that is known as a machine knitting and these are the some schematic diagrams related to how the yarn is going to convert into the loop shape and how to do the intermeshing this is what uh, regarding the loops uh, what are the various parts of the loops so that is what we have covered here okay then after the process of knitting okay now in the next lecture we are going to discuss about the some basics aspects of the knitting now today we are going to stop here